thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and it's a pleasure to be called to be able to speak and inform the member for Nottingham North. I know he was waited with bated breath and actually didn't get to speak uh, towards um, my amendment that's been brought forward. My amendment to the publications of candidates' home address information is very short and sweet. In simple, after constituency, I suggest we insert or town or village. At the moment, we all, all as candidates stood and been faced with the opportunity of what we want to put on the ballot paper. Do we simply put our constituency, but then have the problem if we live just outside, it's perceived as being outside a further remit area that we don't represent, or unfortunately disclose our full address onto the ballot paper for all to see and left then on many websites forever more. Now we know that that puts off candidates. We know it makes everyone think twice, and we've unfortunately seen only in recent times what this can do with this sad and most harrowing death of one of our colleagues, Sir David Amos. Yeah. Safety is really important, and so I come at this amendment with a really simple idea, that rather than having your full address or the constituency, there might be a halfway house that allows people to show that they have identity in the area, while at the same time preserving their safety. And I'm hugely grateful for the cross-party support that I've gained in such a short period of time when tabling this amendment and over 40 signatures, many of them sat in this chamber, who have agreed to support this. And many who've also spoken already to say that they feel that this is the right thing. It yeah. is a probing motion because I concede that there could be some legal wrangling about the definition of a village or a town. But fundamentally at this point, it seems no other job would you put your address for all to see out there, especially with the high level of tension that we see in our politics and our society at these days? So why should it be incumbent on candidates to do so, especially if it disenfranchises people wanting to take that ability to stand for their community? And of course, with the boundary review coming forward, let's face it, the public does not particularly know very well what a constituency boundary means. And I can demonstrate this perfectly in my constituency, where just on the bottom corner is Atherston, which, while not in my constituency, everyone locally knows exactly where it is. If I was to live in that constituency, although th thought of as part of where I represent in Bosworth, actually it would come up, Bosworth in Leicestershire, as North Warwickshire. And that really creates a confusion when it comes to the people who we're trying to represent. So this is simply an amendment that I urge the government to consider, to bring forward and find a set of words that could easily allow us all to have that choice of representing in safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah.